Okay guys, this is a uh, long plane review for Hypersports on the uh, Amstrad CPC and continuing on my uh, look at uh, the uh, joystick destroying uh, track and field type sports games to coincide with the uh, London 2012 Summer Olympics. This is a uh, arcade conversion um, and Hypersports was the uh, sequel to Track and Field released in 1984 by uh, Konami. So first of all, uh, considering this is an arcade conversion, we're going to take a look at the arcade original. Just to start with for just a couple of minutes, just so uh, you can sort of compare and see how it fares against it. I've also done a long play for uh, the arcade version in my channel as well, my previous video you want to see it in full, but we'll uh, take a quick look at each event. On your mark. Starting off with swimming, Get set. and there's seven events in total in the arcade original, but only uh, six in the uh, Amstrad and Spectrum versions, missing out the final pole vaulting event. Bit of sample speech there as well, pretty good for 1984. Ah, skeet shooting. All you need to do here, guys, is just use your left and right buttons. Right button to shoot to the right, left for your left gun sight, so forth. Not all the events are button mashing or joystick waggling, in the case of the Amstrad. A lot of it's just uh, sort of timing and skill. Buzz and mashing here though. So this, yes, this is the uh, long horse with the old springboard there. Get through the first three events in the arcade original, you get a little cutscene like this. Um, Hyper Sports was also known as Hyper Olympic '84 to tie in with the '84 Summer Olympics. I think that name was only used in Japan though, I think. This wasn't as popular as Track and Field, the original, but still was pretty good success at the time. Quite like this at Archery event actually as well. Um, but yeah, nice little range of events because a lot, like I said, a lot, um, some of them are not involved in sort of bashing your buttons all the time, like the Archery. So this was a nice little sequel. Ah, this is the uh, triple jump. Gotta get those 45 degree angles. Whee! That's pretty good. Next up is uh, weightlifting after this one. And you can choose uh, which weight you want to start with and go for. A very, very nicely animated uh, character there. Yeah, when your uh, bar flashes, you have to press the fire button to do your power lift, and then you've got uh, three judges. Once all three judges have accepted you've done the lift, you've done it. And then finally, the pole vault. Quite a cool little event. Sadly missing on the Amstrad version and Spectrum version, I think, as well as I mentioned earlier. So uh, there you go and then uh, that's all the events and then you get a sort of a, an ending. Hey! So yeah let's uh, move on to the actual Amstrad version then. This, uh, this was released a year later, 1985, uh, from Imagine Software, which were part of Ocean Software, but they kept the uh, Imagine brand and label. Not a very good uh, loading screen there, I have to say. I don't like the orange being used. But uh, no title screen, just straight into uh, choosing your initials. 
and uh, yeah this is sort of sadly lacking in sort of presentation around the events which is a bit of a shame but on to the swimming and this looks very much like the uh, arcade original so this compares well so far although uh, very little sort of uh, sound effects but yeah this is a waggly joystick left and right and when you get the sort of breathe text appear you press the fire button to take a breath and this is a pretty easy event to start with you shouldn't have too much trouble finishing this now I'm using a uh, competition pro USB joystick and if you look back in my channel I think it's the last year I did a did a review of that joystick which you can plug into your PC which helped me greatly with the uh, joystick waggling I don't think I would have been able to manage some of the events on keyboard we'll come on to that later ah nice little jingle there though and straight into the skeet shooting <laughs> no pause at all just straight in and uh, this is a real swine of event uh, the targeting is well off on this you sort of have to uh, well you move move left to uh, shoot your left target push right to shoot your right target and you just have to you have to do it sort of like a split second a few milliseconds before the object is in your sort of sights so it's really off-putting. The other annoying thing is you, you can only do it by uh, shooting enough of those 500 point scoring ones. There you go. There's two. There's three. There's four. If enough, of, if not enough of them appear, it's pretty much impossible um, to qualify. I just did it there because the normal skeets you shoot that give you 100 points sometimes uh, if, even if you shot all of them it wouldn't get up to the uh, qualifying mark and if you look at the qualifying score now it's jumped up to my last score so the qualifying mark is 4800 when it was 4200 before why does it take your uh, previous score that doesn't make sense you either qualified or you've not hmm strange. Oh I did rather well there actually. 5,700. Good stuff. Little jingle. And uh, yeah straight on to the uh, triple jump. And uh, no joystick waggling is involved here. Just push right and then uh, your computer starts to run for you. Oh, sorry, it's not triple jump, it's the long horse, my apologies. Just got to time you jump right. And then waggle now. I do kind of a uh, sort of circular movement on my joystick. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't matter how to get in the uh, Pacific left, right, left, right, left, right. Just uh, joystick presses will do the job. Ugh. I pressed to start a little bit early there, and the music stopped, and now I've got that horrible sort of noise in the background. Yeah. Not the best graphics on this level, I have to say, rather basic and sort of... Yeah, sort of slow animation. But uh, I've seen worse. I can, uh, I can live with that. Sound effects are limited, that kind of like noise, but uh, oh well. And the instructions tell you you need to press the fire button again when you actually land on the horse to spring higher, but it doesn't make any difference, not what I found anyway. Uh, rather ugly, uh, rather nasty there, just sort of cut straight to loading. I think there's going to be a little jingle of music there. You might have heard just a brief burst of it there before it starts loading. Not very good. And on to archery. Thankfully we got um, 
is press the fire button when the, the, when the uh, wind is flashing there and try and choose your wind try and get it to zero as much as possible and uh, if you time it right and get an angle of about three degrees that seems to be about the, the magic angle to get and you should easily qualify not a bad little event but I don't remember a moving target in the archery in the Olympics as far as I remember it was a stationary target oh well but this is still rather fun and I'm getting pretty good here uh, yeah graphics are rather simple but then they were in the arcade original anyway so the actual events themselves uh, they they compare rather well to the arcade original um, but um, there's a real lack of presentation and care in this game and to make matters worse there's, I believe there's a horrible bug on the uh, final event which I'll, I'll come on to in a minute um, but uh, unfortunately guys this is certainly if you compare it to the Spectrum version and especially the Commodore 64 version the Amstrad version definitely comes worst off unfortunately so yeah this is the triple jump here similar graphics to the long horse now notice guys uh, oh sorry first of all no waggling here the joystick t uh, the computer takes over the joystick here now notice guys I have to jump well before the line otherwise you get a foul and I wasn't even at the line and it's fouled so just messy so you have to jump about there. So the line's in the wrong place. I mean, for God's sakes. So yeah, I'm really going to have to mark this game down, really. It's not as good as the Specky and Commodore 64 versions. So yeah, 6.5 out of 10. And I'm really pissed off by this final event. The weightlifting. Remember, there's no pole jump. This is absolutely, absolutely impossible. Um, this is the 150 weight, and I'm going absolutely mental on the joystick here. I promise you guys, I am. And on the opening event, you can see where my power is there. And I'm going absolutely berserk, and I've run out of energy, and I get a foul. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys here, um, just so I can complete this, I've kind of cheated a bit here. I wonder if you know how, I wonder if you can work out how I've cheated. That'll be interesting in the comments. Now I did it there, but note how it marked my score of an X, which normally indicates a failure. I got I got the lift up, I got the three judges, and the game just uh, resets, reloads back to the uh, choose your initial screen, and it starts over again from scratch with a zero score. So phew, pretty crap. Six and a half out of ten, and that's generous.